So, Colin Cowherd. Let's talk about it. The one analyst who hasn't been fired yet, I feel like. The analyst of FS1. He put out his top 10 teams. And as it says right there, Green Bay over Buffalo, Rams at 4. Yeah, it is the most outlandish crap possible. Now, top 10 teams post-draft. He does not have us in the top 10, which is not surprising because he's very much, a, I would say, a hater of the Bengals. He doesn't feel or sass, uh, think Joe Burrow is like ever going to come back healthy. That's pretty much his whole stick that he always goes with is, Oh, the Bengals aren't that good because, you know, <laughs> uh, Joe's never going to come back healthy. So, I don't really think too much of what he says. But nonetheless, though, post-draft hierarchy. Here we go. Number 10, the LA Chargers. And I want to preface this off by saying, I don't like Jim Hartball. I don't. And I saw somebody comment down below last video and said something, or two videos ago, and said, like, you know, you bashing Jim Hartball is comical. Listen, I understand that Jim Hartball is a great coach when it comes to college. He's a great college coach. And even in the NFL, he took the 49ers to believe four back-to-back -back championships and lost the Super Bowl to the Ravens. Which even then could be questionable because there was a holding call on Jimmy Smith the last play of the game and it wasn't called. Isn't that funny how, you know, holding calls don't get called. When it's not the Bengals, they don't get called. Anyway, so my point is, um, Jim Harbaugh, I know overall-wise, is a good coach. He's a good coach. He's a great coach. I still hate him. I still don't like him. I still... I think he's an uh, a um, a whole human being, okay? So I'm always gonna trash him, even though I can respect the fact he's a good coach and that he actually does what he's supposed to do. I think his offseason moves this offseason was not smart. I think getting rid of Keenan Allen wasn't smart. I think getting rid of Mike Williams wasn't smart. I think um, you know going ahead and getting rid of your running back called Austin Eckler and then bringing in two running backs in the Ravens who are injury prone. I don't think that's smart. And maybe, you know, he'll prove me wrong and he'll prove that, you know, he made the smallest moves ever. Maybe he will. But I don't think he's a top 10 team. I don't think they have a real true receiver to throw the ball to. I think John Quentin Johnston is going to be a bust. Other than Quentin Johnston, I mean, they picked up Joe Alt instead of going Malik Neighbors or Roman Duse. I think that was a mistake. And I think overall-wise... The team's going to be pretty eh. The Broncos will be better. The Raiders will be better. The Chiefs are obviously in their division. They're gonna. It's going to be a really tough season for them. And then they play the AFC North. That's another thing. All these AFC West fans, or mainly Chiefs fans, who are talking on the trash about, Oh, <laughs> we're so much better than you. You guys don't play the AFC North. But this year, this year... You guys are going to get to experience what we have to deal with every single year. So I can't wait for it. Because everyone who has trashed us in the AFC West, and there's only Chiefs fans really. I mean, there's some little bit of Chargers fans. But anyway, um, do they even exist? That's the real question. As I was saying, no. Um, you guys are going to experience what we experience every single day. Alright, number nine, Texans. See, it's funny. I think the Texans are way, way, way too low. I think that they should be higher on this list. I don't know why people are so low on the Texans. And what I mean by that is, if we are low on the Texans as a NFL community, and we don't respect how good they are, they're going to be 10 times better than last year. Okay? Get the hype going. Get the traction going. Because what happens when people doubt us? Well, guess what? We end up doing good. So, can we stop doubting the Texans and thinking that they're going to be a bad team? Because, I don't know about you, I really don't want the Texans to go win a Super Bowl. I want to win a Super Bowl ourselves. And if you're like, well, I'm not a Bengals fan. Well, if you're not a Bengals fan, then guess what? You should want your team to go win the Super Bowl. And that team right there, that number nine, should be way higher than that. Number eight. Eagles. First half or second half of the season, Eagles. Like, that's a real statement. I think that's the truest statement you can make. First half Eagles or second half Eagles? Because first half Eagles last year were, they were a top five team. Second half Eagles? Nah. Not at all. I mean, even 
even first half Eagles, they, they won a lot of games that they probably should have lost. So they were kind of on the eh about everything. But anyway, though, let's go to number seven. Why? Why? How? How is everyone so high on this team? Everyone is 420 blaze it on this Buffalo Bills squad. And I don't understand. It's like, this is how I feel like everyone thinks, right? NFL fans think the Bills are going to be trash. Because they're like, they have no weapons. They have no receiving core. They, you know, it's going to be Josh Allen versus the world. They have a tougher division. The Patriots have gotten better. The Dolphins have gotten better. The um, Jets are going to get better with Aaron Rodgers. Like, there is the NFL fan base who thinks the Bills are not going to be that good of a team. And then there's this weird out of there type of perspective from the NFL analysts who thinks the Bills are going to be a Super Bowl contender and be the best team to ever walk on earth. Like, I don't understand the love affair that people, the NFL analysts have for the Buffalo Bills other than the fact that they know that the fan base is going to yell about it because it doesn't make sense. I still don't understand. Number six, 49ers. That makes sense. I'm not going to argue that. Um... Number five, Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think that's logical. And I think the rest of these teams are very logical, except for number four. Number four is the LA Rams. And I will say the Rams had a good draft. They had a great draft. I think they did really good. And I think they're going to be a good team this year. I don't know if I would put them at number four. And I know damn sure I would not put them over the Houston Texans for number four. I think that is outlandish. If you were to switch the Texans and Rams, I'm not against the idea of doing that. And yes, I am just getting past the pa uh, past the um, idea that we're not going to be a top 10 team. I, I, I'm not going to argue that point because that point I could argue to the cows come home and I'm not going to do it. But number four, whatever, I think the Texans should be number four. If you're going to do this list and have it how it is right now, Texans number four, Rams number nine, stop playing. And then the rest of it, I'm not even going to kind of harp on. It's the Lions, Ravens, and Chiefs. And I, again, like I said, they got farther than us last year. They did great. They did amazing. Who cares? I think if I were to rank this, I would put Chiefs, Ravens, Lions, Bengals. And, you know, I, you know I'll, be, I'll be unbiased. Texans, Bengals, 49. Uh, if you know, I put 49ers as number four. I put Texans, Bengals, Bills. No, I put Packers, Bills. Yeah, I I probably do it like that. I wouldn't put Chargers in my top ten. I wouldn't. I don't think Chargers should be anywhere near the top ten. I think that yeah, they got a good coach. They do, and Jim Harbaugh is a good coach. I don't like him, but I think he's a good coach. But I don't think that that automatically makes them a top 10 team. And especially with the fact this offseason they lost so much. Like, yeah, no. Anyway, though, I'm going to act like a Chargers fan right now and be a non-existent. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit, hit that like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.